My classes and I have joined the Sumi Ink Club. Stick around to find out how that works. The rules are simple. Respect your space, only draw on the blue paper, no words, add to other people's drawings. Actually, uh, there is more to it than that, uh, or there is uh, some different rules than that. Those are the rules that I put up on my wall. Uh, I prepared this wall that you see in the video uh, by putting up some paper to protect the wall, and then I put up paper to draw on on top of that. The orange paper protects the wall and protects the floor, and then I put up blue paper for us to draw on. The Sumi Ink Club was founded by Sarah Herrera and Luke Fishbeck back in 2005, and in its core it is a cooperative drawing project where the public can join in and uh, draw whatever they like, um, and it facilitates um, cooperation, it facilitates uh, community. Uh, it was, it was a really fun project to work on. So I did mine right outside my classroom uh, between uh, two bathroom doors, uh, just kind of in a big open area that, um, that I share with the rest of the art department at our school. And I set up uh, four stools that had little containers that had other little containers of ink in them uh, to kind of protect, keep it from spilling, keep it from getting everywhere. Um, and then I just invited all of my art classes to come and work on it. And then I invited some of the other teachers to um, send students out to draw on it as well. Uh, also in the hallway or in our building is the choir and the band and strings and percussion. And they all came in. Uh, some of not all of them, but some of the students would walk by and they'd see what we were doing and they would join in and draw too. And I tried to encourage that as much as possible. When it was all said and done, we had a, a nice, wonderful uh, drawing that like everybody had participated in. And it's full of uh, symbols that um, different people can relate to and just personal drawings that different people did. Some of them are really scary. Uh, some of them are uh, just cute. Some of them are, you know, uh, famous subjects like SpongeBob and... Uh, other cartoon characters. Um, anytime I had a student that said they didn't know how to draw, I simply encouraged them to, you know, make a mark, whether it was a star or a heart or, you know, whatever, that anybody can draw anything. Um, I did have some vandalism, uh, and by vandal vandalism, I mean, um, really anything was open, you know, like people could do anything, but one of the rules was no words. And uh, apparently some people didn't read the rules that were hanging up on the wall. And so I had some people that wrote their name or some people wrote uh, gang-related words on there. Uh, but we went back and kind of fixed that, finished, uh, you know, covered it up in some way artistically. Um, and then also we also had someone who went through and put a nice little triangle around every eye that they could find and, in a sense, making... Uh, Illuminati symbols all over the wall, but uh, it's all good. It was uh, it, it looks really good when it was done. Uh, I then took down all of the orange paper and all of the orange um, masking and, and all of that, and just hung it right back up on the wall, so it looked good. And this is the finished product. So if you'll do a search on Google for Sumi Ink Club, uh, there's a lot of videos on YouTube related to this and you can see uh, other people's examples. Uh, I think different environments will create different um, uh, effects. Uh, the reason I used blue paper is because we were out of white paper, but I think it turned out all right anyway. Our school colors are blue and orange, so that was nice. This is what it looks like from down the hallway. Overall, it was a really good experience. Uh, we had a lot of fun, got a lot of really neat things drawn. I also found that uh, there was a lot of sort of copying. In other words, uh, someone would draw something and then someone else would see how neat their drawing looked and they would try to uh, copy it somewhere else. And I think that's kind of a learning process. You learn by copying other people's stuff. So 
um, that was that was good. In the end, I was pretty pleased with how everything turned out. Uh, we actually had a few people, I think, realize that they really liked the process of drawing with ink and uh, have taken to using ink sort of exclusively in some of my classes. And uh, we had a bunch of these S's, but we ended up fixing them up and decorating them. Spider was one of the first things added, and his web was, uh, his uh, webbing was just sort of a drip down the page. Anyway, turned out really good. I hope you like it. Uh, again, you can add to things. Let me tell you the rules. Sorry. Uh, let me tell you some of the uh, rules. You can look this up online. Go to sumiinkclub.com. And you'll see some of the guidelines. There's not a lot of guidelines. Try to keep it simple. But uh, here are the guidelines as listed on the Sumi Ink Club webpage. Meetings are free and open to the public of all ages. Everyone uses the same materials, same size brushes, and same color ink, for example. Don't dilute the ink. Blackest black is best. Everyone works on the same drawing surface. Anyone can add to anyone else's drawings. Move around the drawing, don't get stuck in one spot. And everyone agrees when the drawing is finished. So this is the, the rules on the, or the guidelines on the Sumi Ink Club website. Uh, I didn't use those specifically. We did use um, some watered down ink, uh, a little bit on accident because we had a little cup of water and we had a little cup of ink and obviously the cup of water was to help uh, wash out the brushes and stuff but some people would end up using that little cup of water to paint not realizing it was just going to be gray but then some people started using it to add value which I think turned out really good so I think at the end when uh, when this has served its purpose and it's uh, no longer um, necessary to be on the wall. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it down and cut it into squares, uh, maybe about, I don't know, 12 inches by 12 inches, uh, or maybe 18 by 18 inches, and just leave them outside my door for people to pick up and take their own copy home with them. So uh, bits and pieces of it will live on forever. I don't know. Do it. Uh, I'm gonna cut them down and let people do with with the uh, stuff. You know that way it doesn't get thrown away. Let just let people do with it what they want to do with it. Uh, this is a, a little bit extra footage here. This was before it was completely finished and uh, and all, but it's got a little close up of some of the last bits and pieces. Uh, one of the things I tried to encourage was get people to draw up high, and draw down low. Uh, it was easy to draw up high, and it was easy to draw across the middle. Drawing down low was difficult for some people. So maybe uh, if you do this, you just cut it off at a certain point. Maybe make it only knee, uh, knee high off the ground or whatever. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Later.